Welcome to Real Money Talks. Real strategies from the money makers and the world changers that you can use to make millions, keep those millions, multiply your wealth, and build your team. Here's your host, author of five New York Times bestsellers, money expert on Dr. Phil, CNN, CNBC, The Street TV, Fox News, and The View, Laurel Langmire. Hi, this is Laurel. Welcome back to Laurel's Real Money Talks, a podcast where we talk about making some money, keeping some money, investing money. How do you do it with a team and why you need a team? So I always arrange our interviews and our conversations around just different ways money's, again, made, kept, or invested. So today is about making it. And uh, it's about also just making it as an expert and an influencer. So I have Lauren Powers with me. She's got this awesome name. And she is world leading. I mean, I, I'm going to let you tell all your accolades. You only have to like look at her once and you'll know that she has got like world champion status in bodybuilding and fitness. And she is extraordinary. So first, Lauren, welcome to Laurel's World Money Talks. Thank you, Laurel. Glad to be here. This is exciting. No, we're, we're going to start doing events together. So just stay tuned. Integratedhealthandwealth.com is our combined site. And uh, I think I'm going to bring Doc Trin onto that site where we just, I, you know, my background was exercise physiology and finance. So my first chapters of my life were in the fitness space and I made hundreds of thousands of dollars as, you know, 20 something year old. Awesome. Building fitness centers, um, being a personal trainer, being a aerobics instructor. So it's always near and dear to my heart. And I still run, strength train. You're going to get me lean again. And I'm yes, going to get you really, 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 really rich again. So, Perfect, yeah, right? <laughs> so, yeah. so talk about just your accolades. Talk about the competitions you've won and what got you into it. Give a little history because you're extraordinary. Well, thank you. Thank you. Well, I've been an athlete kind of like you, you know, my whole life. I was a professional skateboarder in high school. Right out of high school, I moved to Hawaii where I opened up a surfing school. So I owned and operated my own surfing school, raced outriggers in Hawaii, three years in a row, Hawaii state champion. So I built this massive upper body. And then I came back. I've been in sales my whole life. From that, I went to to be a, become a firefighter. That was my big thing. When my, my town of Laguna Beach almost burned down, I got inspired to give back to my community. And I'm like, okay, I'll just be a firefighter. Well, it wasn't that easy. I had to go to school. I <laughs> had to go through the academy and build this, get really, really strong. And that worked out for only so long until I tried to be a full-time firefighter. And in a good boys club, didn't fit in so well. They didn't want a strong, let alone powerful female on the team. And I got discriminated against and it was a big deal. And I lost that whole career. However, in hindsight, it launched me into being this famous fitness celebrity superstar that I am today because I had the body that I had built to become a firefighter to um, become this 10 time overall heavyweight bodybuilding champion. And with all that being said, it's been quite a journey. <laughs> Where would you like awesome. me to pause? <laughs> yeah. So I just want to talk. I mean, I've never actually asked you some of these questions. So you can say it's none of my business. And, you know, but I think we're curious. Like, I mean, I get the whole, I, I didn't even know about the whole skateboarding thing. Awesome for you. I hope you sold that company well. Or I was on a team for a Pepsi skateboard team. And then I went on a world tour. So I was only 16 and took the GED and got to go on tour with the, the other people. I was one of 22 professional athletes. And, it was awesome. I was the youngest one and, you know, just learned about life real quick. No kidding. <laughs> yeah. So, did you, so then when you get to the bodybuilding side, right, I think I'm yeah. curious too. Yeah. How, I mean, were you sponsored? How do you make money? Again, this whole podcast is about money. So money. like, yes. not easy. How, how do you make money doing that? Yeah. Well, it really isn't easy. It's pretty saturated right now. And everybody wants to be an Instagram star. When I was doing it, it wasn't, um, we didn't have social media and I was, you know, I toured around the world and did, you know, private demonstrations. I was, you know, speaking on the sport. I had fans all over the world. So I kind of established myself on the side. And then I went to the mainstream media. And that's basically where I got my brand is being on TV quite a bit. And as you know, as well, being TV and, and, and wealth is the same thing as in fitness. The more you're on TV, the, the better it is for you. And that pays here and there. One time shots. Um, I've got quite a few TV shows coming up. I've been sought out for tons of famous vi- music videos. And that's kind of how I've done it. A little bit different than the normal bodybuilder. I stand out. I'm, I'm known right now, Laurel, as one of the most publicized female bodybuilders in the world due to that. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Thanks. And so 
I just keep pushing through. And for me, just, you know, to be transparent, it's not always about the money. I'm willing to do things that other people aren't willing to do. But as like Marianne Williamson says, do what you love and the money will follow and get paid my, my full value. So I'm excited about to build my wealth and be on, you know, in your program and really kind of focus in on that money side of it. I've got the fame, I've got the brand, I've got the traveling, I've got the fitness side, and I got all that down. And now it's time to turn my expertise is in health to build wealth so I can help more people. And that's what I'm pretty excited about. So I know you wrote a book. So talk a little bit about, so now, right, you're doing auditions, you're getting TV, radio. So clearly there's a money-making path. And then there's obviously programs and your book. Like, is your plan to like really work personally with different people? I would think you could make a lot of money making another champion, right? Or tell us about how you're going to work. Because I always like the business model part. Like I like our listeners to say, like, that's a cool way to do it. And then we kind of be additive to that. Yes, actually, I'm now the founder of The Fierce Formula. So I'm going to be specializing in female entrepreneur women in their 40, 50 plus to be more fit, fabulous, fast. You like it? I love that. Yeah. Yes, all the apps. And if they don't do that program, guess what? <laughs> exactly. And then, then we're going to add finance in there, too. They got to be financially yeah. literate. It's right. It fits right in. And, and so they can either be fit or fat. We talked about that. Exactly, so right? Your listeners want to be fit and they'll jump on board. But so that's the whole thing. And that will be the money side of it because I'm going to be helping these women that have spent so much time and money building or time building their business to make money that they forget about their bodies. And the fitness and the health side of it is just as important. So without, you know, the health, the wealth is, they have to go together. And that's why you and I are, are joined as well because the two match. And without one, the other one doesn't matter. It goes both ways. So my formula is pretty awesome. It is online. Of course, the high ticket time will be when you know one on one with me. I'm in Orange County, California. I do travel, but um, you know I'll be speaking with you, and we'll be doing programs all over the country, I'm sure. But um, the the back end pro- thing will be for women that can go into a gym instead of being intimidated. They'll know exactly what machine does what, what body part, how to get in, how to adjust the machines, what's what type of um, exercises to do for them. And basically, I'm just helping women to become a better version of themselves. And that's where my heart is, my passion. And these women, I know they need it. Health is going down and declining. People are on these prescription drugs that are like causing all kinds of crazy. Yeah, side effects and diseases. And oh, it's getting worse by the minute. We didn't have these issues a decade ago. But now the health is just so, so important. So speak to just that to that point. What's so distinctively different about your program, but I like where you just went, which is, you know, 10 years ago, we didn't have these problems. So speak to that, Mark, because I, we didn't. I mean, the opioid addiction is crazy. Yep. It's crazy. Uh, Well, our food, our air, our water, everything, all our elements are now contaminated. They're, you know, they're poisoned. They're, it's just, everything is so, so crazy that you have to have an upper edge and you have to have knowledge. To me, knowledge is power, just like what you teach. If you don't know, you don't know. And I'm learning every day, these high-end products and services and different ways and, and tips and tricks to reverse this anti-aging process. So we do feel better. We're not in pain. Um, we can get out of bed and feel good. Our joints aren't hurting. And as you know, I mean, aging is just inevitable. So if anything that we can do to combat, combat that process, I'm all for it. And these are the things that I'm sharing with my audience and my clients and people that want to really make a change in their lifestyle. And it is a lifestyle change. It's not just a quick fix fad diet, if you will, to lose weight quick for, you know, fit in your dress for your wedding. It's, it, this is not it. If that's what the people want, I'm not their coach. It's if they want to make a permanent lifestyle change in it from the inside out. And that makes a difference between what I'm doing. I'm not a personal trainer in a gym, Laurel. That's the least thing that I am. What I am is a complete uh, lifestyle physique image designer. Did you get that? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Yes. So there's clearly a fitness component, though. So you don't go to the gym, but you do you coach them through what they need to be doing, given their body and their goals and all of that? Absolutely. And well, 90 percent of it is what we put in our mouth. Let's just face it. And 90 percent of our bodies are made in the kitchen. 
So if you're eating the wrong things for your body type, your style, we, you know, this has been going on. It's not new news. However, there's new technology just like in anything else. So we do this genetic testing. So I can look at it as the expert and figure out for that body, like yours is going to be different than mine. Yours is different than your sister. I mean, we're all different. So this is very custom and very personal with this testing. And I can see where your hormones are out of balance, where your minerals are off, your, your the vitamins intakes, all of these things are so important and unique to only you. This is where we stand out. So with that information, again, there can be a detailed report, what you're going to be eating, what you're going to be doing that works for you to get, that's where that F fast comes in. So we can get right to it. We're not screwing around anymore. We're not getting younger. We want action. We want everything yesterday. And this is a fast, fast track way to do it. So I figured this out through my expertise, 30 years and being the fitness industry, I, I kind of know what I'm doing. And I realized, you know, my clients, they're not going to want to look like me. Like, you know what I mean? Like with you, like I was going to be buying planes and stuff. However, there's a process to this and we're the, we're the ultimate goal, but we help people from beginning to end. So I can take someone that's 30 pounds overweight plus or someone that wants to be a champion. It doesn't matter. I've done it all, but it is a custom deal depending on where they come in on my programs. And I'm out to just help people be, become a better version of themselves from the inside out. It's kind of the best way I can say it. So, as far as money, I'm going to go back to money, right? So yeah, it's, all about the money. <laughs> it's all about money. Um, it's really not, but that's what I talk about. So, I know. you know, I, I'm, I'm accused of that all the time. Oh, Laura, all you just talk about money. Well, that's what I teach. So, if I hey, thought about, helps. you know, it helps. sex or God or fitness, then I just talk about that all the time. But specifically in your case, though, I mean, would it be as your brand grows, I mean, I would think getting sponsors given who you are and I would think you'd get pursued by nutrition companies and supplement companies and fitness equipment companies and all that. I mean, is that like a revenue stream that's real that's out there? I mean, more out of curiosity or is that something that just to educate our folks that are out there, is that something you don't pursue? I've been doing this for quite a while and I've well, let's put it this way. My garage looks like a GNC store. I've has every time everybody sends me everything because they want me to try it and endorse it and, you know, be sponsored by it. I only choose products, of course, that I personally like and use and get results from. So anything that I say, I feel confident enough to, to someone else. So people know that. So there's a lot of things that I don't like. And there's a lot of things out in the market. That's very confusing. If you go into a vitamin shop, you know, I mean, hello, there's like a hundred protein uh, canisters on the wall. I mean, which one do you choose? These are the kind of things that um, I get involved with. I've been sponsored by all the biggies and the majors in the, in the industry for the years, because now what I do, I've also become, since I've won so many titles, I've become a promoter myself. So I actually host and promote my own fitness competitions where combined I have sponsors and I have ex, an expo with it, with different vendors. And and is there a lot of money in it? There can be. Um, I'm not a big aggressive like the, the, the huge ones because it's very hard to compete against those people. And I'm one person. However, I've done very well. I hosted the World Championships uh, last November. It was the largest uh, event in USA for the WFF, World Fitness Federation, where we had 40 countries come to my stage in Huntington Beach with over 200 athletes competing for their titles. It was insane. It was so exciting. and It was very successful. It was a two-day show. And I'm proud to be the promoter of that. And it's the largest in USA. However, my passion is now to help not so much just the competitive athlete, but to move into more of the women, like I talked about earlier, that are in their 40, 50 plus that want to become a better version. That's my real heart passion because these women need help. They need to get on board and change their lifestyle pretty quick here because of all the elements that are slowly taking us down and aging us quicker than we need to. Like we, we didn't a decade ago. Like what we did. So these things are really exactly. important. Yeah. And then, you know, and as far as the money part, there's going to be a lot more money on this end of it. And especially with your help, I'm going to turn this around and, and get my own plane like you. <laughs> it's, it is hard to make money in fitness. I will tell you that it's very saturated. There's a lot of models that will go stand in a booth and be the booth girls for 150 bucks in high heels for eight hours and or plus for three days. Because if they don't do it, there's another girl behind her that would do it for free. So it's really difficult, to be honest with you. The, the supplement companies are the big money makers if they have a decent product. The ones that are you know, not so well, they end up fading out. And then the promoters of the big events, they're the ones that make the big money. Other than that, it's a little rough. Unless you're an Instagram influencer and you're 20 years old and a superstar with a million followers, that's, it's, really, it's tough. So that's why I've been kind of... <laughs> 
it is. And I, I'm just being honest. And and there's nothing wrong with that. It's great. But there's a dime a dozen. I've been around a long time. I think I'm one of the, you know, one of the legends they call because I've figured out a way and I keep reinventing myself on the money side of it to sustain my lifestyle. And it's always having to be creative and, and work pretty hard. <laughs> and I'm older now. So now I just, yeah, now I just want to share my share my expertise with with other women that already have the money. You're going to help them how to keep the money. I'm going to help, help them, you know, get healthy and, and stay healthy. And with that, it's a win-win. And that's what I'm into. Okay, so let's talk about some results. Like, tell me about one of the most challenging people that you've ever worked with and what you did to help them get their result. I'm sure I've had to helped a lot of people over the years in different areas and different um, aspects of their lives. But probably one of the most I'm proud of is um, I had a gentleman that was actually quite wealthy, had tons of toys, tons of homes, only 31 years of age, but he was so stressed out building his business and his wealth that literally he had no time to enjoy his toys. So he hired me. I, I got to go in. I actually got to build his gym and his custom home. He had a $30 million home on the water in Laguna Beach. And we designed the gym and he made it and completely dedicated. And this is what it takes. So for the people listening, you've got to want to do this. First of all, it starts with desire. You have to want to change your body, change your lifestyle, because it does take some effort. Then you have to dedicate yourself to your decision. And then you have to use the dip diet word. I hate to use that word, but it's another D. <laughs> but it's about the food and the supplements that we take. So I helped, literally got to help him from his, from beginning to my change to be dedicated. He shut everybody out in his business. They couldn't talk to him when I was there. So I was like, his mother couldn't even talk to him if I was there. In other words, like everybody was shut out on my time. And I took this guy um, being overweight and stressed to looking ripped and fit. He was a very successful gentleman and he ended up, you know, enjoying, he got another plane, he flies out to his homes. He has his Lamborghini, he goes out to his desert home. I mean, all these things happened for him that, if he had stayed on the path that he was going down, getting overweight, eating up fast food, just eating on the fly, not taking time to, for himself, worried about everybody else but him, we just changed his complete mindset. We manifested the body that he wanted to. We made the magic happen. We taught him how to ma maintain the body. So speak specifically to, like, what did he have to do to eat? Like, I want the nitty gritty. Did he have to go to the gym? Did, what part did he hate? Well, did he have to change his food, have to change his cooking? Like, Well, all of that, actually. It was complete lifestyle change. And it's not, it's not easy. That's what I'm saying. You have to want to do this. So it's stop the fast foods and the fried foods and be conscious of what you're putting in your mouth. Eating three to four times a day, with, maybe with a couple shakes that are protein, not soy drinking tons of water, staying hydrated throughout the day and the evening, getting plenty of rest. These are all basic things, but they're critical, absolutely critical. Trying to de-stress your body because stress is the number one thing that really goes at a cellular level and goes after our, our aging process. So if you're conscious of these things, it really can turn around. And then that mindset, it, it's just a really powerful thing. And I like to teach on that. I do a deep dive on my manifesting uh, portion, you know, on my talks and seminars about how to manifest and create and desire what the body you want, the health you want. And even the, on the well side, all of it is in, included in that. And it's just so key and critical. And it sounds easy, but it's not. You have to really focus in, be laser focused on what you want, on your goals and make those changes. And it could be as simple as getting a, the proper rest you're hydrating yourself. This is key. A lot of people don't drink enough water, which I can't emphasize enough. Just that one change can change your entire health around adding the water. Look at what the supplements and try to get off some of those crazy narcotic drugs that our doctors just put prescribe and they're band-aids for things instead of looking at the root of the problem. A lot of it starts in the gut. The digestion is a major, major key to so many things. And that's what food, changing it more organic, guys grass-fed chicken and, and cows if you're going to eat meat. I mean, these small twists are major changes that can affect your health immediately, like today, now. Gosh, what else can I tell you? Exercise, of course. There's no magic, magic pill to switch around your lifestyle. You have to apply yourself. I, mean, I don't care if it's just getting off the couch, put the bonbons down, like we talked about before, and start moving. Walk around the block. Start slowly. To start baby steps. Don't do things without being injured. These are things I really, really preach about. Because 
I don't know if you know, but I mean, the gyms always sell so many memberships. People come in, they don't yep. know what they're doing. Yeah. And they come in, they frolic around the gym, they get injured or they do too much. They get, hurt themselves and, and then that's no fun. You don't want to go back because you're you don't feel good. Well, it's important to learn the right way. So I took my friend through all the steps on how to work out properly, how what each machine was for, what body part it was working on. So you can set your mind and, and implement that. And like if you're working legs, you, you start sending all the energy to your quads and you, you do the exercise properly. How many sets you do, how many repetitions you do, those type of things are are key. And there's a science behind all of this. So I do recommend getting with someone, a personal trainer, someone that you like, have good energy with that can actually teach you and you're going to follow because it's important to do these things injury free. So adding exercise, yes, even if it's three times a week is better than nothing. Walking the other two or three times a week, get doing some sort of cardio or do a sport that you like, whether it's bike, riding the bike or, or jogging or whatever. I don't care. Movement. I'm a big fan of movement. Yoga is my number one thing for me personally to elongate the muscles, get flexibility, inner strength, and then for the mind as well and the, my spiritual side of it. Oh, awesome. Fan. Yes, yoga and meditation are, are key factors. Another prescription for me. So those are just a million things <laughs> right off the top of my head. <laughs> That's awesome. So if people want to get your book or a first chapter of your book, uh, where do they get to go? Yes, I have for your listeners right now, I have a free download right now. They go to beneaththemuscle.com. It's beneaththemuscle.com. There's a free download for, from me to all your listeners. And there's a, also a workbook, Laurel, that comes with it. That's beneaththemuscle.com forward slash workbook. And each chapter, I break down some exercises to personally mo- motivate you and inspire you to make changes within yourself on different areas, not so much just exercise, but it's a whole book about changing your lifestyle and just things that I've been through and just being judged and things like this that, you know, I've pursued through and, you know, the more famous we get, the, the more p- uh, haters could tend to come out of the woodwork, right? <laughs> How to ignore them and use their, use that to propel yourself forward. That's I'm a big advocate of that. Yeah, yeah. I do too. You yeah. So if those of you, again, go to, uh, you know, beneath the muscle and uh, get her book. We're going to be doing tours. So if you go to integrated health and wealth.com, you'll, uh, you'll stay in touch with us. We have, uh, two uh, books through the summer of 2019 and then uh, just continue to follow along and I'm going to get you to do your own podcast as I continue to work with you because I know you need one and uh, the rest of you who want to get fit and like really be trained by a world champion you've got to stay in touch with Lauren uh, and myself and uh, again on this podcast if you have questions or you want to ask a request you just go to asklaurel.com so asklaurel.com is a place you put in your name your phone number your email and you make a request of what you would like and how I can support you and my team uh, answers that daily to make sure that uh, no question goes unanswered so Lauren thanks for joining us on uh, Laurel's Real Money Talks and the rest of you out there listening we'll be back soon get and stay healthy and wealthy thanks for listening to the Real Money Talks podcast your host has been Laurel Langmire, author of five New York Times bestsellers money expert on Dr. Phil CNN CNBC The Street TV Fox News and The View Want to learn more about off-Wall Street investing, tax strategies, and multi-million dollar business strategies? Visit liveoutloud.com slash podcast for past episodes, show notes, and resources. For some special wealth building gifts only for Laurel's podcast listeners, visit liveoutloud.com slash podcast gifts. Do you have a burning question for Laurel? Visit asklaurel.com to submit your question and it may just be covered on a podcast episode. So stay tuned and be sure to subscribe to get new episodes every week.